Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, the 9th of August 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with national news. President Tinubu inaugurates Tax Reform Committee, meets with World Trade Organization President Okonjo Iweala in State House. Andrew J presides over first APC National Working Committee meeting. PDP constitutes 12 man special committee for Bayelsa. Imo and Kogi state governorship polls. Probe allegations I drafted judgment for presidential election petition tribunal, Fashola petitions, IG and DSS. Southeast senators demand two more ministers. On Lagos election tribunal, Sonwo Olu and Hamzat file final written address say Rhodes Vivo lacks evidence. Governor Oti launches Operation Crush to dislodge criminals in Abia state. Hoodlum set ablaze reps members' house in Anambra state. Fountain of Life Church pastor Taiwo Odukoya dies at 67. We move to business news. Downturn in equities. Market cap shrinks by 15 billion naira. Naira plunges to 900 naira to $1 on parallel markets. You said once Nigeria and other African countries as food inflation persists. In tech news, Twitter rolls out ad revenue and Nigerian creators can now get paid. WhatsApp to launch screen sharing feature during calls. In international news, Nijay Koo plotters name economist as new prime minister. ECOWAS orders fresh sanctions on Nijay. More than 100 persons have been arrested in West African internet scam investigation, says Interpol. Zelensky boasts that Russia will have zero ships after the war. Finally, in sport news, as regards Women's World Cup, Morocco is out as Africa's World Cup hopes end. Super Falcons demand payment of outstanding bonuses. In boxing, Helenio steps in to fight Joshua as late replacement for White. Get details of these news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Do not forget to follow us at Guardian Nigeria on all our social media platforms. I am Ifinaya Wachiku for Guardian TV. Good night.